Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free CompTIA A Plus certification training course. I'm James Messer, and in this module, we're going to talk about software tools. We've already talked in other previous modules about the pieces of hardware we might need. But what about the software that we need to take around with us from place to place to solve problems? We're going to speak specifically to these exam objectives from the CompTIA exam objectives. This is from the CompTIA.org website. And for the 22601, which is the Essentials exam, in section 3.3, it talks about you needing to know how to identify tools, diagnostics, procedures, and troubleshooting techniques for operating systems. And to be able to do that, we're going to need software tools. And these tools take the place of uh, Windows CDs. They could be a boot CD. We also call these sometimes live CDs. And you can also use a Windows boot disk. And we'll go through each of these and explain how all of them can be used to troubleshoot and help maintain systems with just having a piece of software. Let's start talking about Windows CDs. And Windows CDs are important because when you install a new driver or you install a new application that requires something from the initial operating system installation and you don't have the that piece already installed in your system, it's going to prompt you for the Windows CD. Well, the problem that does this is very inconvenient times. You're right in the middle of a security update. You need to install a patch and get something involved. You're installing a new printer. You need to get in there and out of there. And of course, now it's asking you for the Windows CD. Well, have you ever seen how many different Windows CDs there happen to be? Which one should you use? Well, you have to make sure that it matches the version of Windows that is installed on a system. If they're running Service Pack 1, you don't use the CD that, that is, has Service Pack 2 installed on it. You need to make sure that it matches. And if you're in an environment like a, a very large environment with a lot of different computers, you may find that there are different ones in, in no matter where you happen to go. That's why many large organizations standardize on an operating system. You may find that they're running older operating systems. They're not running the, the latest and the newest things. That's because of these challenges and making sure that they can maintain those systems and that whenever they need that software, this is a good example, they need the right CD, that they're going to have it regardless of who it happens to be in the organization. Sometimes it's useful to have the OEM CDs with you. If you've ever gotten a, a system from a manufacturer, they'll include with that a CD that is has the manufacturer's name stamped on it. That's an OEM CD. And OEM stands for Other Equipment Manufacturer. It's a very standardized term that's used in the computer industry. So if you're working on a system that was made by Dell, and you're trying to upgrade the software that's in that Dell machine, and it asks for the Windows CD, you may want to be sure that you have the Windows CD that came from Dell. Very often, it will have some Dell-specific drivers. It will have other utilities on it that don't come on the CD that you might get directly from Microsoft. The physical CDs and the, the DVDs are really good for remote technicians. If you're going from place to place, you may want to have a CD holder with the physical compact disc in it. You never know which one you might need, so you're always going to have a group of those that you take along with them, not only for your Windows CDs, but everything else. If you are in an environment that has a lot of hard drive space available, a number of people will put the, the contents of the Windows CD on the hard drive of the system itself. I do this on my own systems because I have a lot of laptops. I'm very mobile, and I don't want to have to take the CD along with me. And it does take up hard drive space, but whenever I've installed a printer when I'm on the road and it asks for the Windows CD, it's always been useful to have that right on the hard drive. I redirect the program to point at that directory, and it loads up the things that I need. You can see on my system, it takes about 1.2 gig to have that sitting on my hard drive the whole time. And of course, I could always delete it later on if I wanted to. When you're in a corporate environment, very large environment, there is often a central file server where all of these files will be contained. So you don't have to put it on everybody's individual computer. And you can even configure your Windows system in the registry that every time it needs these updates from the CD, don't ask for it and don't look in the CD drive. Go ahead and look out on that central file server because we know it's always going to be available out there. Another piece of software you might want to have with you to be able to help troubleshoot these systems is something called a live CD. Uh, people will often refer to it as a boot CD. This is a CD that you put into your system, into the CD drive, and you start the system with it in that drive. 
What's nice about that is it allows you some extra capabilities without having to load any additional software on the hard drive of the system. These are not Windows operating systems. These are very often Linux or a Unix derivative type operating system. And many times these are well documented live CDs that are going to be able to allow you to repartition and run diagnostics and perform a lot of different functions. You're booting directly from the DVD, the CD, even a USB key. You can carry this around if the system supports booting from a USB drive. Uh, you have to make sure the BIOS is set up to be able to do that as well so that the USB is checked first before it goes to the hard drive. Same thing for the CD-ROM you happen to be using. And these systems, these centralized compilations, are usually focused on particular functions. They might be for software development. They might be for diagnostics and troubleshooting. There are some of these live CDs that are for gaming, that are for media production. Obviously, the ones that we're most interested in are the ones that are going to provide us with a way to troubleshoot a system. And a good example of one of those is called the Ultimate Boot CD. You can find this at ubcd.sourceforge.net. That Ultimate Boot CD has an amazing amount of functionality on it, has a number of system tools. You can perform diagnostic tests of your memory and your CPU. It has some benchmarking capabilities there. It also has some nice hard drive tools. You can erase a hard drive. You can repartition a hard drive. You can go in and do low-level editing of the hard drive, which can often be very useful when you're trying to recover from a crash and you need to change something that's in an index file on the system. There are boot managers on the Ultimate Boot CD, a number of tools not just for traditional file allocation tables or FAT hard drives, but also for the newer NTFS hard drives as well. There's some network capabilities, and you can even create some boot floppies from some of the, the utilities that are on the Ultimate Boot CD. So if you're someone who needs those types of capabilities, go out to that ubcd.sourceforge.net and download that Ultimate Boot CD. You'll be glad you did. A new type of software tool that I see out here is something called a Windows boot disk. This is the same type of technology as booting from a USB key or booting from a CD or a DVD, but instead we're booting Windows once the system starts up. It's not a complete Windows system. It's something called a working environment of Windows. Microsoft makes one of these called the Microsoft Windows Pre-Installation Environment. You'll often hear this referred to as Windows PE. This is something that you can download from Microsoft. It's now integrated into what Microsoft calls the Business Desktop Deployment 2007 system. Designed for large organizations that need to deploy Windows, it's the capability that's integrated into that. Well, that, that's sometimes a little bit more difficult to get your hands on. Maybe you don't want the entire business desktop deployment system. You really just need a quick way to start Windows. A very popular pre-installed environment is called BART's pre-installed environment. Uh, BART Lagerway is uh, someone in the Netherlands who has created this pre-installed environment. And it does require that you have appropriate licensing of Windows. But if you have that, you're able to use this pre-installed environment and boot up in Windows to be able to perform some of the functions that you need. So in review, here's the three types of software tools that we like to be able to have available to us to perform preventive maintenance or be able to work on these systems. The first is the Windows CD that came with the system that matches the version of Windows that is running on the local environment. Another type of software tool we might want to have are the boot CDs or live CDs. And that ultimate boot CD is a great place to start with that one. And we can also have these Windows environments that we can boot from a CD into Windows using that Microsoft Windows pre-installation environment or BART's pre-installed environment, BART PE. For more A-plus certification videos, for discussions about this video and all of our videos, be sure to visit our website at freeaplus.com.